Did you see this thing I made? This is the uh, chat GPT picture of my accessory pack for my toys. It's not real. That's the chat. It's AI. Uh, that was me, right? And people wanted more. They wanted an accessory pack. So we did a box set. That's my car and the, the taco character. My car really does look like that. I don't believe in car washing or detailing or essentially any attention at all to the exterior. In my opinion, that doesn't really affect the performance of the vehicle, right? I've told stories before of how I have the, the garbage in it and the dried you know, donut glaze and there's bacon, like old bacon crumbs in the car. Like, that's not really the point. The point is that the car will still drive. If on the outside there's dirt, if there's some scratches, right? Unless you're going to, you know, totally bash the car into pieces. I don't really see a problem, which is why I generally avoid the car wash as much fun as it may be. Steve Weiner here from GetRebix.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a cool product from Patch My PC that's definitely geared more towards the consumer market, right? This isn't so much enterprise, but it's something I've been using and thought was really interesting. So we'll take a look at it. You remember as a kid how much fun the car wash would be going through all the, the, the sponge things and the flappers would hit the window and it was all dark. It was like a ride. Really the only ride I like. I, I have an aversion to amusement parks. So car wash would be it for me in terms of the excitement. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. I often get asked about like, how do I set up my PCs for me? And I've tried a bunch of different methods. I have my own little like autopilot branding script that I use locally. But honestly, you know, we talk about app patching so much. We don't want to talk about patching our personal stuff unless it's enrolled. Um, so patch my PC reached out to me and uh, now I can't find it. Yeah, this is it. Apparently this is kind of where things started was just this you know, free tool folks can use to update things. So when they asked me if I took a look at it and wanted to know what I thought, I was like, I didn't even look at it yet. So let's download it and kind of go through it together. Take a look at what it is. I mean, really what it is, is it's just, think about the slimmed down version of Patch My PC that just, it's free and it's automated, right? And it, it I tried it on my main PC and it works really good. And you can kind of browse through all the apps they have. They have over 500. I mean, that's a lot of apps. You don't have over 500 apps. Well, that's downloading. I'll take a minute to just say, yeah, this is not for enterprise, right? So if you're looking for, you know, even if it's a small, like, you know, 100 seats and stuff like that, this is not for that, right? This isn't for, you know, got a bunch of managed devices. You're pushing apps out for them. This is a home product. But here's the thing. We're all tech people here. I don't think there's too many Instagram models and influencers sneaking into my YouTube channel. As tech people, we're not, most of us aren't just, you know, IT people by trade. That's our passion. We're enthusiasts. We're, we're into technology. So it makes sense. We're going to, you know, build our own PC, set stuff up, look for tools to make us more productive and efficient. And honestly, I haven't used anything or thought about using anything to patch my local apps. I open Chrome and says, hey, Chrome needs an update. I react to it and I update it. It's kind of a pain too if I don't open something for a while, all this stuff just kind of pops up. Um, I mean, I have a lot of tools, OBS, DaVinci Resolve that I use to make the videos um, between Discord and Spotify and all that other stuff that we all have. But the idea to have something for us is is pretty nice, right? So, you know, nothing wrong with taking a look at a tool that's just for, for you. Now, treat yourself to a free tool or not. Don't listen to me. All right, so that's downloaded. We're just going to pop it open here. Okay, you agree. You want to launch it when ready. Sure. What I like is even though this is a free tool, it's for your home PC, very polished, very well done, very streamlined and easy to, to get started with. Um, so that's always a plus, right? Nobody wants something that's complicated. We have enough complicated things when we're working on, you know, our day job stuff. So here's the interface, kind of go through it, right? Right off the bat, it found all my apps, which is pretty cool. So it's telling me which apps I have that are up to date, which aren't, um, and I can do these individually. It's telling me what version. Um, so this is a massive time saver. So if I want to update everything, I can hit start the updater. If I wanted to, I can go to settings. Let's take a look at what we have. You can turn on a scheduler. You can have this run whatever you want, once a day, once a week. You could set up your own custom thing. Task visibility, that'll show you what's going on when it runs as opposed to silently in the background. You can filter apps by category. So if I just want to see any gaming related apps, there we go. Got your Battle.net, Epic Games, 
uh, your NVIDIA apps, of course, your Steam installer. So all kinds of cool stuff here, right? But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start the updater. And it's going to go through and take care of all that for me. So one thing I really like, and this kind of impressed me, is choose your apps and save as a template to use on other devices. I switch computers a lot sometimes. I haven't lately, but I hate when I do, I, I keep a list. Um, I'm actually going to show it to you here. I have a file. Like I said, it's like an autopilot branding type of thing. And what I do is inside the file towards the bottom here. Yeah, there's my little list. And what I do is before I get a new PC, I come in here and I try to remember which apps that I'm using and I put them on the list and I got to remember if there's anything I don't need anymore, I take off, right? Um, sometimes it's a problem. For example, Chrome, I got to add the ignore check something. So I've been breaking that out separately. Otherwise it fails. And I got to install chocolatey first. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just hard to keep track of. So with this, you can export an app list. So what you do is you come in here and you select my apps and that's going to show you all the apps you're currently using, right? You could select them all and export the list. So I'm going to save this on my desktop. So if now, if I was on a new computer, I can import this list in and boom, it's going to grab all my same apps, deploy them, uh, update them for me. So I, I got this kind of cool portable app manifest with me now, wherever I go, just to make sure I have everything I'm supposed to have and I'm compliant, right? And you doesn't have to be just apps you have, you can add other apps to it, right? So we can say we want the Dell support assist or maybe we want Visual Studio, right? We can grab that. We can add Python to that, whatever it is, we can kind of make our own little uh, list here and just keep it going, which is really super nice, right? You could even edit a list too when you come back in here. I think that's a nice touch that they have. So yeah, I think for, you know, what it's doing here and the fact that it's free, I mean, this is great. Look at all the apps I have that are up to date now. So it'll just keep going and, and doing its thing. Obviously, if your daily driver is a work managed PC, don't be doing this. They should be patching your stuff. But no, I mean, you know, I have my own daily driver machines that I use and whether it's a new PC that I'm swapping out, because even for testing stuff, right, I need a quick way to get all my apps up to snuff uh, that I'm setting up without going in and manually installing everything. So I think this is a nice tool. I'm thrilled that they reached out to me and honestly, just for the fact that I didn't know about it. <laughs> so they were like, hey, what do you think of the new home updater? I'm like, what What are you talking about? So uh, thanks to Patch My PC for, for asking me about that. I think it's a great tool. Um, I think if you're looking for something for home, for your family, right? Honestly, what applies for business still applies at home, right? Software vulnerabilities are a major attack vector. As much as we want to protect our work PCs, there's no reason our home stuff should go vulnerable as well. And obviously, because we're all IT folks, we take that as a priority, right? We want to keep everyone's uh, machine safe. So, you know, why not do this? And hey, if there's you know, if it's free, a uh, little downside to checking it out. So uh, let me know what you think. Maybe you use something different to patch your stuff. I'd be curious. You know, we don't talk about that as much, but we're going to. We'll be seeing you.